In a lot of data sets, especially geospatial data, there's so much data, it's effectively a massive haystack with lots of really interesting needles hiding in it that people want to find. To do that, you have to build a bespoke AI model. You have to label thousands or even hundreds of thousands of objects, run a single AI model, perhaps across the whole globe, and it would cost many millions of dollars, and you'd be able to find that one thing. What Synthetic does is allows you to search an entire globe worth of data and then search for anything forevermore, even things that you didn't think of originally when you were running that data. Currently, we're using PlanetScope because it offers this really unprecedented stack of data through both space and time. And the result is something we think is truly amazing. It's the ability to actually draw insights from global scale data across time, which is uh, something that's uh, hitherto been really hard to do. When the Chinese balloon was flying over the United States, there were a ton of questions about where it came from, what route it took across the US. And, you know, there were social media sightings of it, but there wasn't concrete lat longs, altitudes, you know, the information that you would need to understand uh, really the route it took and maybe start to infer uh, what it was doing and why it was here. We actually managed to find the balloon in two minutes after we ingested that planet scope data. And from there, you know, the hunt was on. In things like this, it's common to pour over data with analysts for weeks, months, you know, years after events to try to understand them. This PlanetScope data set is the only data set that we know of that really stretches through both time and that whole spatial coverage. Where we're going with Planet is to be able to do that at scale across the globe and across time.